But I think it's important to talk about the technology that these robot mowers use in order to position themselves in your lawn. The original robot mowers used boundary wires around your yard to determine where to go. So you'd have to go out into the yard and physically run and stake down this boundary wire around the perimeter of your yard and along any flower beds or anything else you didn't want the mower to go into. And from there, the mower would bounce back and forth randomly, kind of like the early robot vacuums, between those wires to determine where to mow. And then it would eventually find its way back to the dock. Now, so one of the newer technologies is called RTK, or real-time kinematic. It's a satellite-based technology that basically takes a fixed station and a moving station, in this case, the mower, and it takes a set of satellites that both can connect to and beams a signal between both of them and determines the time difference between the two down to very accurate precision so that it can actually locate where that mower is down to the centimeter level, which gives it great accuracy on mapping out your yard. And this also means you don't have to use a wire to physically run around your yard, but it does mean you need line of sight to the sky in order to get those satellite signals to both the stationary station and the moving mower. You can see where this might be a problem. Now, there's some newer technology of recent robot mowers using LiDAR. And this is very much a similar technology to what modern robot vacuums use with that little bump on top of the robot vacuum. This uses a spinning laser to actually send out signals and bounce off of things to determine where the obstacles might be. Now you can see where this is a little tougher to do for a robot mower since there's not any physical walls or anything that might be in your yard to determine where the boundaries are, unlike a house where you have actual walls and doors and things like that. However, there are ones coming out that have this, although it's kind of rare currently.